think in the U.S., you know, we're all exposed to Martin Luther King, right, uh, from a very early age. But even that isn't really um, through the lens of nonviolence. You know, we learn about him as someone who fought for civil rights and uh, against segregation. But we, at least for me, I didn't come away uh, from learning about him when I was a child uh, with a strong sense of nonviolence being like uh, his animating force. In college, I had another class um, while I was uh, interning in Washington, D.C., and the class was called something like Solutions to Violence or Alternatives to Violence, and it was covering peacemakers and and nonviolent movements and and uh, from around the world and throughout history. And that was the first time that I was, I, I felt like really exposed to it in a very deep way. And, and it really challenged me and, but also inspired me. And it was kind of a real transformative moment in my life because even up until that point, I still had pretty conservative politics actually. And so um, it was kind of this real shock to my system when I started to really uh, pay attention and to think about nonviolence for the first time. So Waging Nonviolence is a, an online publication that I started with a couple friends of mine who are journalists uh, about 11 years ago now. Um, and uh, the, the purpose uh, in starting it was, you know, the three of us had been kind of working journalists, freelance journalists, mainly prior to the, the website. And we all had our own kind of personal interests in nonviolence at that point. Um, and we felt that, you know, it was a topic that wasn't really getting the attention that it deserved in the wider media at that point, even in the more alternative or progressive media here in the US. And so we felt like it was a topic that deserved, you know, much more focused attention and that there were a lot of stories that could be told uh, that weren't being told at the time, uh, especially through a nonviolent lens, right? Where you really, it's kind of drawing on the history of nonviolence and, you know, the, the knowledge that we've built up about how nonviolence works. And so we wanted to try to highlight, you know, all the ways that nonviolence can be expressed, right? And the idea that there are literally kind of limitless possibilities, right, with what uh, kinds of actions and tactics and things that people can do to try to create social change using nonviolence and kind of in particular to highlight um, the more kind of uh, the creativity that nonviolence can unleash. In addition to, again, like kind of really challenging the way that I think the mainstream media and, you know, I think, um, you know, either ignores nonviolence or misinterprets what nonviolence means. And so we wanted to kind of foster a more sophisticated conversation about nonviolence in the wider media. In a lot of ways, um, and by a lot of measures, I think violence actually is declining. Um, and that's not to say that we don't have a lot of work to do um, and that um, we don't still live in a very violent world, in a very militarized world. But I actually think that um, also in terms of just kind of methods of struggle, I think, um, you know, nonviolence, I think, has become over time more and more of a dominant way that, that people struggle for peace and justice and, and violent, um, violent struggles and movements are, are on the decline and have been for, for decades, I believe. And when you look at like the work of Erica Chenoweth, you know, who's really studied this, um, you know, she's really documented that very clearly. Uh, people often have this, uh, this false idea that violence is a quick, is a quick solution to things, that it works more quickly than nonviolence. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think that's actually not, you know, that's not the case. Even when you step back and look at it, even from like an academic sense, like I was saying that this Erica Chenoa study of nonviolent versus violent movements, you know, found that, that nonviolent movements reach their goal, you know, twice as, as, as 
often as violent movements.